I was just cleaning up some old comments and found a question from Catch the Fire Worship Flags. I think that's right. <laughs> Maybe that's not right. It was a very funny name and I read it and now I'm outside and I don't have it in front of me. And they asked, what is the difference, because they were confused, between a border run and an extension? Okay, so this is very Nicaraguan, so this is not a general case thing. The term border run, I mean, the terms for these things are very generic, but I'm going to explain exactly what they mean in a Nicaraguan context. So what a border run is, let's back up. When you get a visa, this is a tourist visa coming into the country, you're going to get 90 days. You could get less, but 90 days is the maximum that they can give you. With 90 days, you are then able to stay in the country for three months. At the end of 90 days, you have to leave the country or you can get an extension. If you leave the country and immediately come right back in, we call that a border run. It's ref a reference to the fact that you're going to the border, leaving the country, and immediately returning. You could also simply leave the country, go take a vacation somewhere, move somewhere else, do something, and sometime in the indefinite future, return as well. It's simply leaving the country so that you come back in and get a new 90 days. It means your 90 days start from the time you enter the country. So to do a border run, it means you've left the country. And it means, you, a lot of people ask this, it means you've truly left the country. You have to not just go out of the Nicaraguan border, you must go into a full additional border from another country and then return. Part, there's a lot of reasons why this makes sense if you really stop and think about it, but people have a lot of questions because it's not something that they think about very often. So Costa Rica is what everyone uses. You have to go get out of, get stamped out of Nicaragua. You're no longer in Nicaragua. You must go into Costa Rica. If you have not gone into Costa Rica, you have not crossed a hard border. You're still within the soft border of the Nicaraguan exit zone. You must get into Costa Rica. Once in Costa Rica, you're allowed to turn around or come right back out. Costa Rica is not going to keep you there. That would be weird. Then Nicaragua will stamp you back in. You go through the full process as if you just showed up out of nowhere. They act like they haven't seen you. And welcome to Nicaragua. You get another 90 days. That is a border run. There are countries all over the world that do border runs as a normal system. People are used to it. It's a very standard thing. There's plenty of countries that don't allow it. Especially in Europe, it is an uncommon thing in that region, but much of the world uses border runs as a normal mechanism for a lot of things. And there's, we have some videos that explain the logistics of why it makes sense for that to happen, why countries want to do that. It's just, it just is a very simple way of dealing with some things. So it, it actually is logical, as weird as it may seem to you. Okay, now, alternatively, if you don't want to leave the country and re-enter, you may get an extension. Getting an extension means you're going to the Department of Immigration, which in Nicaragua is known as Migración. Migración, you will go into, you can do this in your local capital city. So in Chinandega, that's Chinandega. In León, that's León. In Granada, that's Granada. In Rivas, that's Rivas. It's amazing how that works. There is some places where the capital and the name of the departmento are not the same, such as Nuevo Segovia, where it is Acotal. But for the most part, the departmento and its capital city have the same name. And uh, it was only that one is different because they renamed it. So uh, you go to your local Migración or alternatively, you may go to Managua and use Central. Everyone may use Central Migración in Managua. But if you're going to be staying in, say, León, like we are here, then we go to León and do it in most cases. Uh, the reason that some people go to Managua is because you don't have to turn over your passport. You have to show it to them, of course, but you don't have to give it up. They hand it right back to you. If you're going to do it in one of these satellite capitals, the departmento capitals, then they're going to collect your passport, send it to Managua. They do all the stuff and send it back. It takes a week. It's no big deal. There's no reason to panic about this. It is absolutely like clockwork. It works perfectly and there's nothing you have to worry about. There's no reason not to do it. But if you need to have access to your passport at all times for some reason, then this could be an encumbrance. Then you just need to run to Managua and you won't have to worry about that. So there is an option. But for most of us, it would never come up as a thing. Like who cares if you have your passport on you? Normally it doesn't matter. But if you might have to fly out at any second and you, you can't possibly be without your passport, then there is a system for that. <laughs> That system gives you an extension of 30 additional days. So you've been here for 90, you get the extension, you get 30 more days. At the end of that 30 days, you can do an extension again and get 30 more days. At the end of that, you can do another extension and get another 30 days. At the end of the third 30 days, you must leave the country. There is no further extensions unless you get residency. That's a completely different thing. Don't need to worry about that. And that's, that is the only process to, to not have to then do a border run. So the border runs always happen. The question is, do you want to do a border run at the end of 90 days or sometime sooner? Or do you want to do extensions and get more time before you do a border run? That's the only thing. Border runs are always the barrier between your visits to Nicaragua. 
The idea is that you can come into Nicaragua for 180 days before you must exit, and then you may enter immediately again. So border runs are always part of your mechanism as long as you're a tourist. It's just extensions allow you to go longer between the border runs, but it doesn't change the border runs. It doesn't eliminate a border run. It just increases the amount of time so you can spend six months without going to the border. Some people live very close to the border or are already going to leave the country for some reason, such as going to Taco Bell in Liberia. So if you were going to go to Taco Bell in Liberia, just go to Taco Bell in Liberia and you'll get a new 90 days as you re-enter the country. If you were going to go to Panama to go see the Panama Museum, the Panama Canal Museum, or the Bio Museum, uh, Bio Museo, uh, just out on the islands, all right? Just go do, enjoy your weekend in Panama City, fly back, you've reset. So you get border runs or something like a border run simply by traveling and doing all kinds of things. So there's lots of reasons why you wouldn't do an extension. And some people just travel for work. I have a friend who's lived here for years, but he travels for work less than uh, every 90 days, like once a month, every 30 days. So he has no idea about the extension system because he never needs it. He's never had to apply for it. He doesn't have to do intentional border runs because his job resets uh, his 90 days for him anyway. So that's the difference. A border run always is going to be something that you have to do. And it literally means crossing the border and coming back. An extension means you don't have to do a border run at that particular time because you got extra time before you have to do it. Hope that answers your question.